Hello, boys, girls, non-binary darlings. Crowley here. I decided it was time to do a vlog so you can get to know all my feelings and my rants on camera. But I'm sure you don't care about all that. I mean, I could go on and on about how horrible and stressful my day has been. Hence why it took me so long, and hence why I have this. It's not easy being king. And again, you don't want to hear about that, do you? You've been sending in some lovely questions, message requests, all that. So I'm sure you would love for me to answer all of those, or as many as I can. Oh, and the first one has Lucifer in it, so that's, that's a wonderful start, isn't it? The question is, tell us about your real feelings for Lucifer. Do you think that there's something going on between us? Do we hold hands under the table in meetings? We send each other secret valentines every February 14th? Whatever sick, twisted fantasies you have in your little brains. I must tell you that they don't exist. My feelings for Lucifer are very, very clear. He is the most obnoxious, arrogant, vulgar, asshole who's ever walked the earth. But really, it'd be a waste of my non-breath. I'm on the throne. And that's all I care about. I outsmarted him. Because he's not as smart as people think he is. This majestic, intelligent, angelic creature. Couldn't even outsmart a two-bit tailor. Or a punk-ass crossroads demon. And now, that punk-ass crossroads demon is on the throne. Where I belong. So my real feelings for Lucifer is that I hate his guts. In fact, even if I was to tear apart that meat suit of his while he's in it, feed it to my hounds, and then set fire to their shit. That wouldn't be enough to show just how much I hate him. The one good thing about him is he has a good taste in meat suits, so at least there's something Even if I do hate his stupid face, hopefully that will answer your question, Anonymous. How brave of you. Moving on. Next question is, what's up with Bobby? First of all, I would like to thank you for that detail. You must have put so much thought into that question. So I feel the need to give you an even more detailed answer. He's Bobby Singer. Paranoid bastard, sexy beast. Father. 
probably the best parent those boys have ever had. But who am I to judge? Honestly, I don't know what else to say to that. If you would like to know more, please send a follow-up question with more detail, and I will be glad to answer. Or maybe. Moving on. This next one is for me and my minions, apparently. What are your personas? Now, I'm not sure if that's actually a word or if it's a typo. Or if it's, um, Honestly, I don't... I don't know what it means. So, um... One second. <clears throat> Who knows what kind of... interesting things I will find by googling this. Oh! I see. Ah, so that's what it means. Well, in that case, my persona is that cat from Sabrina and the Teenage Witch. They have the same sense of humour. And I am not messing around trying to get those morons in here, so make it more simple to call them up. Not called brain, anyway. He's usually with Steve. Steve is too dumb to operate a phone on his own, so he just borrows Brian's now and then. He does have his own, but he barely uses it because it's Steve. It's me. Oh, sir? Yes? I have a question for you. Or rather... Someone has a question for you. Okay. They would like to know what your fursona is. Something to do with furries. With what? Furries. People who dress up like animals. Sort of cartoony versions of them. Okay. Just answer the question. I, I, I don't know. Well, there you go. He doesn't know. Because he's an idiot. And now he's being all whiny. Just just put Steve on the phone. Um Steve? Is he not there? I thought he was with you. Oh yes, he's here. Um on one second, sir. Steve Steve He's coming. Uh, boss wants a word. Hey, sir. Hello. I have a question from some fans. Not sure who sent it, but they would like to know what your fursona is. It's like persona, but a furry version of it. You mean like pets? Something like that. If you were... a pet. 
per se. I suppose what kind of pet would you be and what kind of personality would you have? I had to Google this. Um, I guess I, I like dogs. Fair enough. Congratulations for answering a question coherently. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, Steve. You can go now. Okay. Uh, bye, sir. Bye. Thank you. <sighs> right. Another question? Hopefully that doesn't involve the minions because that was... Mm. Let me read you this, word for word. Uh, sir, we kind of... One of the hellhounds got loose and trashed a torture room and there's like 50,000 escaped souls all running around, what do we do? <sighs> I found to mention that one. Excuse me. You failed to mention something to me earlier. Did, did I, sir? Something happening back at hell. Mm -hmm. uh... Anything I should know about? Because one of you morons sent me a message about it. I got the message, Brain. Um... What happened? Um... We're still trying to figure that out, sir. Oh, but that's wonderful news. That's all I get. You're trying to figure it out. How about this? You figure it out in the next ten seconds, or I will decorate the torture room with your entrails! Uh, we're working really hard on it, so we're trying to get them all rounded up. I'm on my way back now. Oh, God! And there had better be some improvement by the time I get there, or you will all be in serious trouble. I, 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 I understand, sir. We will, we will try to get things under control. I'm sure you will. Bye. <sighs> well, I suppose this little vlog is going to go on hold. <sighs> I will answer the rest after this whole fiasco has been dealt with. Ciao for now. Doodles. <laughs>